Hi guys and welcome to Machine Learning Libraries with C++. This is Implementation with Shark. So in this section, we'll be taking a look at the environment setup of Shark. So we're briefly going to go through how you install it and also how you compile your Shark problems. Well, your um, programs using Shark. We'll then take a look at linear regression, which we discussed in the first product. Um, and we'll be implementing that using the pre-existing shark methods that are available and functionality. After that, we'll then have a bit of a debrief and look at the library specific features of shark. So it's data containers and its models more specifically. So environment setup of shark. So in this video, it's quite fairly obvious, but we're going to be looking at how we install shark. So shark is a library and obviously as with most libraries they have some dependencies so shark relies on boost and cmake i'm sure you've heard of both of them um if you haven't they're readily available they're easily available online and there's plenty of information and tutorials on how to install them and how to use them but you know if you're using linux from a command line you can just go ahead and install oh do sudo apt install and install the binaries straight away and that's all your dependencies covered for shark well once you've installed the binaries you're going to need to download it from the website it's available from this link and then you need to extract the zip and then in the standard way you need to create a build directory you then need to go into that build directory run cmake and then finally run make. So it's in a very standard way. If you haven't seen this before, that's not a problem. There's plenty, it's very simple. It should be pretty obvious. And there's plenty of information online if you get into trouble on how you install using CMake and Make. So again, you know, sometimes people have problems with Boost or other dependencies, but there's plenty of information online about how to you know, install and get around these issues. It's not worth spending time covering all corner cases here, but there's plenty of information on this link, or if you just Google install shark, you should be greeted with lots of um, information. So how do we compile a program with shark? Well, firstly, we need to include the relevant header files in your program. So these are just two, these two include header files are ones that we're gonna be using for linear regression. Um, but obviously, depending on which feature you want to use, you're going to be using different header files. So make sure you know you use the right header file. And then if you're going to compile with GCC or Clang or from the terminal, then you just need to ensure you know that you link with C++11, uh, Boost, and then Shark and CBLAS if, if needed. If you're using CMake, you can just include directories and then target link libraries. And there's again, plenty of information about that online. Yeah, so I hope you know you managed to get installed correctly and this has been a good pointer on how you can do it. If you're using Windows, um, it's gonna be slightly different, but you know, you should still be comfortable with installing C++ libraries and then linking against them. Good, well, I hope that you know that was a Brief introduction to installing Shark. 